Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and I'm going to use my green witch tarot and I'm going to use my tarot grand Lux. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links will be down below. All right. Current energy, current situation for Capricorn. Yay, Three of Cups. What is that being crossed by? Eight of Cups. Interesting. What do you need to focus on? Okay. Nine of Wands. What are you leaving behind? The Green Man, which is the Fool. What are your strengths? Four of Cups. I kind of feel like your strengths are being able to ignore people that are irritating to you. <laughs> um, near future, we have the Four of Swords taking a break. Advice, Lord of Shadows, which is the death card. The environment is Eight of, Eight of Swords. I feel like it's, it's sort of realizing the energies that are holding you back. Um, there could be people that are surrounding you that are holding you back. Um, Hopes and fears, we have the Empress, and then uh, potential outcome, we have the Two of Swords. I feel like it's just realizing a situation. Realizing a situation or a friendship for exactly what it is. Like, I feel like there's a friendship. There's something that you're questioning. Is something too good to be true? Um, is someone being real? Because... This is what's being crossed here is the Eight of Cups and he has his hand on his chin and he's thinking about something and he is walking away from those cups and he feels like he's confused by something or something has sparked his interest to say, okay, what's really going on here? What's really happening here? I feel like there's a falsehood of some kind. I feel like you have... This feeling that something isn't right, that you have this red flag around you. And I feel like that's something that you need to explore. I feel like it's something that you need to see. I, I, I definitely don't think it's something, definitely with the depth, like there's something not right. Too good. It's funny because that's, that's, this is the energy that I was feeling right here when I said something that seemed too good to be true because these are all of the, the cups and the pentacles and the wands and the swords, but they're covered in gold to represent that it's something that is fool's gold, false. There's a falsehood here in this friendship or someone that's around you or something seems too good to be true. And that's exactly what I was thinking of. And that is so cool that that card came out. It could have to do with money. Is it an opportunity? Is it a career? Is it a job? Is there some sort of opportunity that has come up that seems too good to be true? I feel like it's kind of like this gnawing feeling in your like insides that are just saying something's not right. I feel like this is definitely something that you need to explore, that you need to look into because I feel like it's a red flag for you and you have to make sure that you check that out, right? We have the five of wands and we have, yeah, something's not clear. There's some sort of deception here. And I feel like before you move forward, make sure that you check into it, right? Make sure that you ask those questions and you stand up for the situation and you fight to make sure that, okay, what's really going on here? Ask those questions. Um, find out the information. Knowledge is power. Finding out more knowledge about the situation gives you that power. Um, what you're leaving behind, we have um, Six of Cups, we have the Fool, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like it's something that maybe you were used to or was around for a long time, or maybe it was a dream that you had, an idea that you had in your childhood. I feel like it was something that maybe it made you happy at one time, but then... It's, it's sort of fizzled out. Um, I feel like it's sort of a direction that you were starting to go in, but then you kind of turned around and you did um, a 180, and you're like, okay, that's, that's not what I thought it was. That wasn't what I was thinking. 
but that's okay because I feel like you avoided a big negative. Um, your strengths, taking it one day at a time, ten of pentacles, making things work out, embracing challenges, embracing the fool energy. I feel like it's focus on the positive. I feel like it's putting things together and making things happen and ignoring what doesn't work for you. Um, and ignoring those things. And I kind of feel like it's your strengths are the fool starting fresh, starting over. Even though I feel like you don't like starting over, but I feel like when you see that something has come to an end, like it's over, it's done, and that you pull yourself up and you'll continue to go and you continue to keep going and you don't give up. Near future, we have Four of Swords. So I feel like it's kind of taking a break, kind of assessing what happened. And I feel like it's not rushing into anything, the next phase, too quickly. I feel like it's sort of processing and marinating in what happened. We have the Four of Cups and then we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like it's, okay, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to process what happened. Um, because we have here the advice is let go of what happened, right? Because you don't want to carry that forward with you. That this was a disappointing situation, That the ch right? Because we have the devil, so it was a disappointing situation. You were really hoping that this situation was true or this relationship was true or this opportunity was true or whatever this represents, and it ends up falling through, and it doesn't turn out the way that you want to, but I feel like you're really being strong and you're really being good about, okay, let me process what happened. Let me have that alone time. Let me figure this out. Let me process it. Let me work through it and let it go. So that way I'm not moving forward because the advice is the death card is don't bring this energy forward with you um, because you want to be the strongest that you could be. And then we have the page of pentacles, which is, that young new energy that's coming in and you're feeling good, right? You're feeling good. You pulled yourself up. You got back on track. Just like one of your, you know, um, your strengths is, okay, I'm just going to take it one situation at a time, one day at a time. I'll work through this. I'll get through this. Motivate yourself, right? And then the environment, so I feel is twofold here with the eight of swords is that this beginning energy was that you were holding yourself back because you weren't seeing the truth of a situation but then the environment can also represent that now you're ready to handle it right now you're ready to break free now you're definitely with the knight of swords look at how he's holding that sword so strongly and we have the eagle now you're ready to soar now you're ready to move forward now you're ready to make things happen um you've taken that time to process and let go and work through and see okay this is where i need to go we have hopes and fears. We have the Empress. I love it. It's new partnerships, new friendships. It's growing. It's learning. It's evolving. It's changing. Yes, you're feeling exhausted and you're feeling tired and you have a lot of weight on your shoulders, but you're able to release this. And I feel like you went with your gut, right? You had a feeling something wasn't right. Something was wrong, right? There was this devil energy around here. Something didn't feel right. You didn't ignore it. You looked it straight in the face and you dealt with it. And then I feel like because of what has happened, we have, the, we have the Two of Swords. Oh, I love it. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. I feel that you feel more powerful. And I feel like you're going to be a little more standoffish in the future. And you're really going to look at things before you make choices, right? Because Two of Swords is about choices. That you're really going to look at both sides of a situation. This may have been something that you jumped right into or you got right into. And like you didn't really think it through. So I feel like this future energies is, okay, you're going to take your time. You're going to think it through that you're not just going to jump right into something that you're going to make sure that it's something that is positive for you. And you're, and you're, you're feeling more powerful because you're like, okay, I feel like I have more control of this situation now. Like I'm not going to let the situation take control of me. I'm going to take control of the situation. And I feel like it's, it's, it's more of, of control, getting yourself back on track. That this was a challenge for you to see, right? That this was an opportunity for you to see, you know, that you follow through if you feel that something isn't right. We have understanding, looking at both sides, right? Learning from the situation and 
processing things and taking time to let things go. All right, we have our spirit animal oracle. We have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Picking out what works for you, leaving what doesn't work for you. And I feel like it's just, it's like having fun and looking at it as an experience for you to learn and for you to grow. And let's see, let's grab a wisdom of the oracle too. Wisdom of the Oracle for Capricorn for this reading. Whoops. Those two fell out, so let's go with those. We have Mending, and we have Milk and Honey. I love Milk and Honey. That's my favorite because it's so cute with the little elephant sitting in the bowl of Milk and Honey in it and with the rainbow, and it's about having those rewards for being proud of yourself for handling this situation and not letting that situation handle you and mending either yourself or relationships, you know, with this four of wands here, mending those partnerships that need to be mended because maybe you were focusing on this negativity over here and you were kind of leaving behind those relationships that were, that maybe you thought afterwards, I shouldn't have done that. And so it's mending that. So mending what you need to mend, but having those rewards, right? Having that milk and honey and that sweetness and that fulfillment and abundance of, seeing this handling the situation and turning it around and taking control of the situation love it all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time